and it's sort of my little urban farm. We have our chickens. When Tracy King opens the gate to his rental property in San Diego City Heights neighborhood, you can see he's not kidding. The backyard has a coop in the corner, a vegetable garden, fruit trees, dozens of plants, and scores of flowers, from roses to milkweed. It is, this is what we call Butterfly Alley. This is our butterfly bench. He's lived next door since the late 60s and bought this property two decades ago as an investment for his kids. And they would have these huge properties and they could sell them and go off into the world, you know, with all this money. And my daughter in front of me, she says, I'm doing perfectly well without your help. Thank you very much. And so you do what you've got to do. So the semi-retired fitness instructor put the two-bedroom craftsman that he renovated on the market. An offer above asking price came in on the first day, among many others. The deal moved so quickly, the listing real estate broker had to cancel planned open houses. Zillow senior economist Aaron Terrassa says this kind of demand will likely continue in the low-income City Heights community. So, so yes, this area has been appreciated quickly and will probably continue to, to lead the, the San Diego metro over the next year. The online real estate site says home prices in the main zip code in City Heights are projected to increase by nearly 4% over the next year. That's the second highest rate in the county, second to Imperial Beach and tied with Claremont. Homeowner Paul Smith says he's seen this coming for years. He's been documenting building and home renovations on his Facebook page called Transforming City Heights. He says he initially started it to alert people that changes were coming. When I first started driving around and I first started the page, there was a house here, a house there. And now it's insane. Driving around the neighborhood, he points out homes that are for sale, sold, or under renovation quicker than you can turn your head. This house just had a second story put on it. This house with the for sale sign, did, here's another house that's getting gutted. That house has been redone. That house has been worked on. So this house recently got purchased. This house right over here, that house is sold. That got redone because there's houses over there that are getting constructed right now. That house right there is tented. This house has been worked on recently. That house has been redone. You see that house is for sale. That one's pending over 400. It's small. As a property owner and new father to two young girls, he says he's pleased to see what he considers positive changes in a neighborhood that has been stigmatized as a crime and gang infested area. He says he's heard from other homeowners who agree, but says some commenting on the Facebook page criticize the changes as gentrification. Zillow economist Terrassa says he wonders how the boom will impact residents in City Heights, where census estimates show 70 percent are renters. The really interesting question for me is, how are they adapting? What are the strategies? Are they moving in or sharing expenses with family members? Are they considering moving away? Smith says he feels he's contributing to the neighborhood by fixing up a rundown home, which he lived in for years. The toilets would overflow. That was a nice mess. They overflowed to the back because they did an illegal toilet out there. That had to all get ripped out. Um, the electric in the house was outdated, and so it was a fire hazard. There, there were so many problems. I can't even begin. Plus, the house was cold because there was no insulation in most of the walls. New lock. Never locked before. It's going to be locked eventually. <laughs> At the urban farm, King says he'll lock the gate connecting the two properties as soon as the sale closes. He says it may be difficult watching others care for the yard he built, but he's excited for their future. It's almost like I've been preparing it for somebody else to take it and have a nice... And this is this buyer's first home, and she and her husband are going to be starting a family here. When King and his wife first moved into their home next door four decades ago, they too planned to start a family. An elderly couple rented them the place for $85 a month, and they eventually bought it. Taryn Mento, KPBS News.